Okay. The DIY segue is complete. Now well, the physicals. The board should already be programmed. Wired up. As you can see, I've got the batteries connected. It's not elegant, but I reused the housings to some floppy drives that I had lying around from my Moppy that works perfectly. Did you know that the battery is the same height as the width of a floppy drive? Neither did I. So I've got it all wired up, black to black. Green is my red in here. I didn't have any of the right gauge for red, but as long as I remember it. And then over here, this is your negative. This is the on-off switch. And hopefully, if all goes well, I won't see any magic smoke because I need the magic smoke inside the device, not outside. The only thing I haven't done yet is added the dead man switch right here. I'm going to put that right about there-ish somehow. Maybe some, maybe some simple screws because all that's going to happen is my foot needs to rest on it. And it might actually just work if I mount it right about there. As long as I'm putting my foot on it. Whatever. Technically speaking, the device is done except for the dead man switch, which I just dropped on the ground. Extreme close-up, which I just dropped on the ground. So it should turn on as long as the dead man switch is there. The wheels might spin, but it won't go anywhere because I've got it propped up on top of my stool that I sit on. Oh boy. Pushing that power switch is either going to work or not work. Wish me luck. Three, two, one. That would be a not work. No lights. No action. Hmm. Okay, well, back to the test. Okay, here we are. Take two on first power up of a completely wired segue. So, this mad scientist made a giant, humongous, abnormally large dunderhead mistake. And I've determined it at 11.30 something last night. And now, I fixed it. So three years ago, whenever I started this project, yep, it's been three years, I put it on the back burner and I finally finished it this week. I had soldered all these wires to this proto shield. Well, not knowing what I was doing, I soldered them all into the little spots, these little itty bitty little holes and these ones over here are labeled for what's next to them. Well, what I didn't realize is they're not connected to what's next to them. So this was never talking to the chip. The only thing that I hadn't wired was the power, the red and the black here. And that was giving it power, just enough for it to know that it existed because I checked it with my multimeter and it was alive. So I rewired them all with these jumpers Got rid of these. I'll start them later. This is a test. And that's why I believe this never got a signal because there's two little signal lights. Stat one, stat two. I never got signal lights. My bet is because I never wired anything up, basically. So here we go. Try number two. Where's my... Uh, Little handy dandy. Dead man switch. Powering on three, two, one. Hmm. Well, I definitely have power now. I know that for certain. Hmm. Well, I guess something else is missing. Back to the checkboard. Okay. Put in the new Arduino. This is the one that's dead. 
Uh, not sure. I looked really close at it. Can't see anything popped. Can't see anything bad. No scorch marks. No magic smoke came out whenever I turned it on. But it did sit for three years, so that could have been... That could have happened any time in the past three years. But new Arduino's behind the plate that I built. This is the plate I built. There's the gyro chip. There's the Sabertooth 2x25, so it can handle the big voltages. Bam, 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 bam. On-off switch. Although this on-off switch doesn't have an LED in it like I thought it did. That's probably what the top wire is for, and I'm not hooking that up, so... Here's to uh, no smoke. All my wires are plugged in. All the wires are soldered. The battery's in the right path. Wish me luck. Good so far. And nothing's going on with the motor. I'm on the dead man switch, of course. Nothing's really happening. It's not like it's trying to move or not. It's definitely not standing up. I'm holding it here. supposed to move forward or backward whenever you tip it, right? <sighs> Let's try it. Let's try it again. I'll hold the dead man switch first. Nothing. What did I do? That's different. Hmm. Well, I will have to go back to the drawing board and see, follow this trace and see what happens. See you next time.